Texan Global School. Long division. Dividing two and three digits by one digit. This class analyzes processes to perform division between integers with two and three digit dividends and a one digit divisor. The division algorithm is based on Euclid's relation or lemma, explained in his set of books, The Elements. This relationship indicates that the dividend A is equal to the product of the divisor B with the quotient Q plus the remainder R. In this way, and remembering previous classes, we can see that the division of two numbers is a product between a real number and the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of another real number. Let us also remember the parts of the division. Dividend, divisor, and quotient. Two ways of representing division are also shown. The division algorithm is described on the blackboard, which we will apply directly in the following examples. Let us perform the division of 54 by 3 in this first example. Recall that this expression can be represented as 54 thirds. Thus, we can identify the dividend and divisor. Then, draw the galley and place the dividend 54 inside the galley and the divisor 3 outside. Since the first digit of the dividend is greater than the divisor, we can see that the divisor only fits into the dividend once. This result is placed in the quotient in the corresponding column. In this case, in the tens. Now, multiply this, 1, of the quotient by the divisor 3, and place the result below the dividend. Hence, subtract 5 from 3. And the 2 is placed in the same tens column. Now, drop the next digit to get the new dividend. And repeat the process. Since the first digit of the dividend is less than the divisor, take the next digit as well. So, how many times does divisor 3 fits or is contained in dividend 24? Exactly. 8. Which is placed in the quotient above the galley in the ones column. Now, multiply this 8 of the quotient by the divisor 3 and place the result 24 below the dividend. Subtract 24 from 24. And the 0 is placed in the same column as the 1's. This last value is called the remainder. We conclude that 54 divided by 3 equals 18. We can verify using Euclid's lemma. So, 54 must be equal to the product of the divisor 3 with the quotient 18 plus the 0 remainder. In this next example, let us divide 534 by 2. The dividend is 534 and the divisor is 2. Then, draw the galley and put the dividend 534 inside the galley and the divisor 2 outside. Since the first digit 5 of the dividend is greater than the divisor 2, we can see that 2 times the divisor fits into the dividend. This result is placed in the quotient in the hundreds column. Now multiply this 2 of the quotient by the divisor 2 and place the result below the dividend. Subtract 5 from 4. And the 1 is placed in the same column as the hundreds. Drop the next digit 3 to get the new dividend. And repeat the process. Since the first digit, 1, of the dividend is less than the divisor 2, we select the next digit as well. Hence, the divisor 2 is contained 6 times in the dividend 13, which is placed in the quotient above the galley in the tens column. Now, multiply the 6 of the quotient by the divisor 2 and place the result 12 below the dividend. Subtract 13 from 12. And the 1 is placed in the same column as the tens. And so, repeat the process. Since the first digit, 1, of the dividend is less than the divisor 2, select the next digit as well. We can see that the divisor 2 is contained 7 times in the dividend 14, which is placed in the quotient above the galley in the ones column. So, multiply the 7 of the quotient by the divisor 2 and place the result 14 below the dividend. Now, subtract 14 from 14 and the zero remainder is placed in the same column as the ones. We conclude that 534 divided by 2 equals 267. To verify the problem, use Euclid's lemma. Hence, 534 is equal to the product of divisor 2 with the quotient 267 plus zero remainder. In this last example, we will be dividing 849 by 7. Draw the galley and put the dividend 849 inside the galley and the divisor 7 outside. Since the first digit 8 of the dividend is greater than the divisor 7, we can see that the divisor is contained in the dividend once. This result is placed in the quotient in the hundreds column. 
Now, multiply this, 1, of the quotient by the divisor 7, and place the result below the dividend. Subtract 8 from 7. And the 1 is placed in the same column of the hundreds. Drop the next digit 4, to get the new dividend. And repeat the process. Since the first digit, 1, of the dividend is less than the divisor 7, take the next digit as well. Hence, the divisor 7 is contained two times in the dividend 14, which is placed in the quotient above the galley in the tens column. Now, multiply this 2 of the quotient by the divisor 7 and place the result 14 below the dividend. Subtract 14 from 14. And the 0 is placed in the same tens column. And repeat the process. We can see that the divisor 7 is contained one time in the dividend 9 which is placed in the quotient above the galley in the ones column. Now, multiply this, one, of the quotient by the divisor seven and place the result below the dividend. Subtract nine minus seven. And the remainder two is placed in the same ones column. We conclude that 849 divided by seven equals 121. But since the remainder is different from zero, the remainder is represented as two by the divisor seven. We can verify using Euclid's lemma. So, 849 is equal to the product of the divisor 7 with the quotient 121 plus the remainder 2. Texan Global School Global Online Learning Knowledge for the World www.texanglobalschool.com